Yo! Yo! What's up? I'm Adam. I'm Patrick. And in this video, Patrick's gonna educate me about what a lake house is. Cause I'm a little confused. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date from all the videos from both of these guys. All right, Patrick, you did a video with Buck Woody where you were talking about the realities of data. And I loved it so much because it really resonated with me and you know the history that we've had with data itself and talking about what are those challenges that people deal with from a data perspective. Yeah, it was interesting. There's, there's a lot of harsh realities. That's what I'm changing it from. It's not today's data realities. <laughs> it's today's harsh data realities because most of the times we have no idea what data we yeah. have. That's, that's, the, that's at the crust. That's at the beginning. Yeah. Of everything. All the other things Buck said were very interesting and informal, but let's be honest, Adam, we work together on Guy and Cube and just us two, there's data. We have no idea. We have no yeah. idea about all the data that's yeah. available for us. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> so one thing that came out, I watched that video and, and everyone else should go watch that video. Yeah. The one thing that really confused me was this lake house thing. I, I need help understanding that because uh -huh. I'm a database guy, right? That, that's what I'm yeah. used to working yeah. with. So, so help me help yeah. me out so you're used to this the data yes. warehouse a relational database with security and dependable performance but the key to it is it's structured you have dimensions and you have facts sometimes there's some snowflaking but at the foundation of it you have dimensions and facts then someone came along and they started talking about this data lake and i would be honest with you i was like Data warehouse, why do I need a data lake? But the more reading, the more research I start doing on it, I was like, oh, I get it. In the data warehouse, it's analytics. It's you know structured information that we're gonna have some history on, and we could do some light predictions and stuff on it, forecasting on okay. it. But with the data lake, it's large volumes of structured, semi-structured data. It's available to everyone, fast exploration. But the interesting thing about it is data scientists liked it because now they can really do some serious, serious experiments against this data because it's all data. It's constantly coming in. Um, you don't have to wait. There's no structure over it. I can literally okay. say select star over this and get all the columns. I don't have to worry about somebody creating this specific dimension or the specific fact table for me. So, so data lake is for data science. Data lake is for data science. Okay. All right. And then what I'm about to show you is like the data warehouse, the data lake, they went out had a few drinks, and this is what came, the lake house. <laughs> they took the best of both and they put it in one place. So now my analysts who wanna do some light forecasting, look at history, look for trends and things like that, they can go to the lake house. My data engineers, my data scientists who wanna do some heavy experiments, some machine learning against the same place can go there also. So now I don't have two places, I have a single place, hmm. the offspring of the data warehouse and the data lake, which is the lake house. So it's, it's kind of like bringing the best of both together to yes. really power yes. your data and get you the answers that yeah. you need. Yeah, so check this out. At the end, what you get is something like this. So if you go bottom up, you get your structured data, you get your semi-structured data, but you can also have unstructured things like images and audio in this lake house. And then in the middle, there's some structure that people will put in place, you know, these ways to move the data about. And the silver layer is typically what most people will connect to, like your data engineers, they wanna do some engineering, your data scientists, you could do machine learning. If you just wanna run some queries, all of that can be done directly against your lake house. Why would I go to this versus the data warehouse if I'm just looking at it from an analytics perspective? If if I'm looking at it from a so, Power BI perspective, why would I go one versus the other? Because I can create a very similar structure like I have in my data warehouse. I can create a lake house database and I can expose a schema that contains dims and facts. Okay. And nobody would know that it's not a data warehouse that they're hitting. This is the beauty of the lake house. I can make it a data warehouse. I can make it a data lake. I can do either or. It doesn't matter. I'm not picky. Nice. I can do whatever I want to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I still have options that I can query. I, I know SQL, right? I don't know, Spark. I know you've been doing a lot of videos about you've got options with uh, Azure yeah. Synapse Analytics. We can do Python. We can do yeah. SQL. You can do all that with the lake house. So if you want to connect with Power BI and write some queries, do it. 
do it. All right. I dare you. I dare you to do Ooh. it. Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Patrick, if people want to explore this lake house thing and start getting their hands dirty with it and, and playing around and creating these items, where do they go? Where do they start? I'm going to shameless plug here. Stin and I did some videos about setting up the lake house. So go look at that playlist. And what I'm going to do is I'm telling, and this is a promise to everyone, that was a fast paced four, five, six videos, I'm gonna slow it down. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna take this and chunk it into smaller sets and make it easy to consume. I'm just gonna drop them every now and then. They'll be in order, just stay tuned, they're coming. All right, all right. Okay guys, what do you think? Are you using the lake house? Have you used the lake house before? I'd love to know. Post it in the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button, like my video, big thumbs up. As always, from Adam, and myself, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.